up, guys? It's your boy, Matt, from RamseyVoice.com, here in the U.S. of A. And I am here because I just love doing reaction videos. And specifically, I've been doing a lot of Filipino reactions recently. And this is one that has come up so much. This is Regine Velasquez singing I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, which I can only assume is a cover of the Aerosmith tune from Armageddon. Armageddon was a great film when I was a kid. Man, Bruce Willis was uh, coming back in a really big way. But it looks like this video is from 2010. So keep in mind, the quality is not perfect. But what matters here is the quality of the vocal technique. Isn't that really corny? That's like super corny. Oh my God. <laughs> now, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure that you smash that like button. Comment with the next reaction that you want to see me do, the next thing that you want to learn. I read them all and I try to respond as much as I possibly can. Or subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. And if you're looking to improve your singing voice today, check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. Now make sure that you watch the entire video because I have a very, very special gift that I'm going to share with you at the end. Now without further ado, this is Regine Velasquez singing and I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> It's like every note has a run in it. C sharp five is our high note so far. Nice fall. Now, this is an amazing singer so far. I'm just so, so impressed with how flexible her voice is. I mean, her runs are just amazing, and they're just everywhere. There, It may even be overkill, in my personal opinion, but I do want to say that this was definitely the style for the kind of like 90s and early 2000s, and I know that a lot of Filipino singers are huge fans of like Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, so I understand the heritage here, and all of that said, oh my god, this is just such an amazing voice. What I love uh, specifically about it is it's really, really clear, and it's really, really bright, and there's very good diction. It's very easy to understand what she's singing. I can't wait to listen more. Yeah. We're in the C part of the song. Just like this. Now, what I think is really cool about that right there, so that's an E-flat 5 right there. That's the start of a woman's second bridge. And in that place, she goes, ah! she goes for a little bit of this kind of pharyngeal or kind of like a high larynx. Ah! They call it the bratty sound or a witchy kind of sound. And that's really, really helpful at helping thin out the vocal cords, but still getting the belt that you want. It's not just, ah! just pushing it as hard as you can and said, and it just sounds super rich and very, very exciting. And it feels like nothing in your throat. It's really, really easy to do. Yeah. Ooh, key change. F5 up there. Yeah. 
G5 up there. Still up to the G5 again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna miss a thing. Wow. Do you guys see it there? It's just so, oh, so nice. apparent there. That, that is, is absolutely fantastic. wonderful. Oh my God, guys, this is such an amazing singer. And I'm so glad that I was told to check her out over and over and over and over again. Now, I promised you that if you watch until the end, that I would give you a very, very special gift. And this is a brand new segment that I'm revealing on the show today. And basically what this is going to do, a lot of people who watch my reaction videos want to learn a little bit more about some of the techniques that some of their favorite singers are using. And and so what I want to do is I want to just take two minutes and I just want to dissect one little thing that Regine is doing really well. Today, we are going to do a two-minute tutorial on riffs and runs. Okay, two minutes and counting. Okay, two minutes is on the clock. So... Riffs and runs are exactly what they sound like. Riffs and runs are often used interchangeably. Usually riffs fall within a song, whereas runs are often just highlighted, just kind of the whole band drops out and just the lead singer is singing. Think of like uh, Freddie Mercury, where he's, Somebody to love. That, that like the whole band drops out. That's his run right there. Now, uh, we're going to use those interchangeably today, but here's how you begin singing riffs and runs. You need to learn the major pentatonic scale for the key that you're singing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give an example in the key of E. E is an easy uh, key for me because it's in a comfortable place for my voice. So what we're going to do is the pentatonic scale is made up of the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth notes of the scale. So we're dropping the fourth and we're dropping the seventh. So it would be like this. So back up to the octave there. So the way that you start constructing rips and runs is you start with some very, very simple vowels and you'll just sing those. We can try on, oh, like, oh, 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 oh. And notice how all of those sound like pretty kind of like solely and kind of gospely. And it's because we're using this pentatonic scale rather than just singing, oh, oh. I mean, that sounds okay too, but it would sound even better to go, oh, just because it's a little bit faster and a little bit more colorful. So what you want to do is find the pentatonic scale in whatever key you're singing in the key of E, it's going to be E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, and the E above that. And then you're going to just sing through them as quickly as you can and especially heading down so that oh okay that's gonna do it that is our two minute stop right there guys i hope you found this video super helpful obviously a five star performance from our good friend regine i wouldn't expect anything less after as many people have recommended her that i check her out if you guys found this video helpful make sure that you smash that like button comment with the next kind of video that you want to see me do the next reaction that you want to see me do subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel or if you want to improve your singing voice today, check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice. And if you want to learn more about riffs and runs, check out my riffs and runs video after this.